All right, folks, we're going to show you how easy it is to transfer a video between your iOS devices using AirDrop. It's not available on all devices. You have to have an iPad 4 or newer iPad, like the Mini or Mini Retina or Air, and the iPhone 5 and newer on the phones. So there's one critical step that you need to keep in mind, which we will point out as well when transferring to make sure you do not lose the high-speed frame rate. And here's how you make sure AirDrop is actually turned on right there and everyone for the iPad similar look for the airdrop button and tap everyone and then of course when you're done you want to turn it off alright now you're gonna have two ways to get to your camera roll you have the photos app which also uh, is where you can create the album structure or you just have the camera itself which can give you direct access to your camera roll right here and it will pop up your most recently recorded video when you are ready to send via AirDrop. So step one, go download Coach My Video Pro so that you have access to all the features of the app, specifically the high-speed video recording capabilities. Um, for example, the iPad mini only records at 30 frames per second without the Coach My Video app. Step two, get some footage. That's what we're gonna do next. We're looking at Coach My Video Pro, one of the newer versions of the app, running on an iPhone 5S. And by the way, that 5S is also paired with this Bluetooth remote, which allows us to go right into the camera here. So we'll get ready to record. You can zoom in here. And then we'll uh, capture some exciting footage in, on the streets of San Francisco. By the way, here you can see we have the setting is high speed at the top up there. So we'll capture this car going by at 120 frames per second. Got it. And while we're here, might as well explain the uh, Stop Plus options. Over here, you have, basically have three remote buttons to work with. So after stopping the recording, you can retake that clip over here on the left. Over here on the right, you can play it to review it first or we can just move on to the next set of stop plus options. You, know, you can always tap and skip directly to it, but there we are. Now we're on the next set and we're done. Just hit the one to the right here. So, let's take a look at this clip. Basically, we're just going to look at the frame rate, but you know, we can play the video over here. We can pause it and go back, but let's just zoom right in. And you see that 120 right there? That tells you 120 frames per second. So now with both devices on the same Wi-Fi network, let's get that 120 frame per second clip over to this iPad mini. So do you see these, uh, these hash marks underneath the uh, thumbnails up here? This is app what Apple has done is they're letting you send this video as a 30 frame per second uh, you know, sort of stylized video that goes regular speed and then it goes slow-mo here and then it goes back to regular speed but it, you know, it had to chop out a lot of frames because it cuts it down to 30 frames per second. But we don't want that. Uh, what we want is we want the actual video. You see all the little dotted lines there? See how we want it, we want 40 frame, uh, 30, we want 120 frames per second. So either way, whether you move that over this way or move it over this way, uh, we want to make sure that it's, you know, that level of detail all the way throughout. And we want, we want to do that before we tap this button here and choose AirDrop. So, uh, by the way, uh, you give it a second and then because the Mini is on the same Wi-Fi network, it popped up automatically. So we tap it right there and here's what the Mini sees. I can accept or decline. We're going to accept and there it is. All right, let's check out that video in the app. From the camera roll, right on the top. So we'll go to where that car is going through so we can see some movement. All right, so let's check this out. Is it really 120 frames per second? Uh, so as you can see there, it says 120 down, uh, down right there. Uh, but let's show off a upcoming feature here on Coach My Video Pro as well. Let's look at the new stopwatch. 
So we can mark times now. So we set the stopwatch at zero. And then we'll mark that time and we'll advance it a frame. And we'll mark that time and we'll advance it a frame. Mark that time and as you can see the car's moving. So I mean it's uh, basically four frames covered the uh, what it what uh, one frame on a 30 frame per second video would have accomplished. So you can see that you know it's one thirtieth right there. So there you have it. And that wraps up this demo of how to go into your camera roll and use AirDrop to transfer a video without dropping frames. Anyways, let us know if any questions, uh, feedback, etc. You can uh, email us from the app or uh, feedback at coachmyvideo.com. Uh, and of course, if you uh, if you're a super fan of CMV, we really love to see those uh, app store reviews. That's what really makes our day. Um, you know, it's great to wake up in the morning and see there's a new uh, new positive review up there. So, if you're so inclined, we'll we'll certainly take all the help we can get there. And uh, that's it for now. All right.